Hi guys, first thing I wanna show you is how you can create a new bank account for your PPP funds. The first area says charts of account. You click that. To create a new account, you scroll down to the bottom. What says account, you click in the down pointing arrow, click new, and then we'll click continue. Click enter the opening balance, and it's for $500. I know that's not the typical amount, but it's, this is for an example. Now, let's go ahead and create a class to track our transactions. So I go to lists, and then I scroll down to class lists. Okay. Scroll to the bottom. Where it says class, click in the menu. It just kind of looks the same as where you were before in the account. So you click new. And the name of this class, I'm going to call it PPP because that's what. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. That's all. <laughs> so PPP. <laughs> and then we'll click OK. All right. And that's, that's all you had to do. <laughs> What if we wanted to make a new bill for the next utility payment? So you could do that. So let's do, I, I selected one of the vendors, enter bill. All right, and we're gonna put a transaction. Maybe we can put like a Z. There go. And we'll put the amount. I'll put $20 since we only have $500. And then we'll scroll down to the trans, uh, the transaction class. And then let's find one of the utilities here. Ta -da. And then we'll do save and close. Perfect. The next example goes to the employee center. As you want to go back and fix the ones that you've already paid. You would go to one of the existing paychecks. So you just double click. All right. And notice that in this first screen, it is an actual check. So there's no where you can add the class, but you need to click paycheck details and check that out. It's right there on the top corner and on the right. And then you just select PPP and you save. Save and close. So now, if I wanted to go back and just check all of the transactions that I have done that are tagged PPP, I went back to the uh, list, my class list, and then I scroll down to the bottom, making sure that the class PPP is selected. Then click here, quick report, get all of them. So we go here. And here's that invoice, that, that bill that we entered for the utility. This is it. <laughs> so I hope this helped you. And I hope that you can utilize this tool that comes with your QuickBooks Enterprise subscription already, so you don't have to buy anything extra to do this. And if you need uh, any more information about QuickBooks Enterprise, we have multiple videos on our channel with all kinds of information for QuickBooks products and also QuickBooks Enterprise. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.